Next game on the list, we have New Orleans minus seven, according to Bavada. At Atlanta, we saw what happened uh, coming out of the bye week. Atlanta really just kind of took it to New Orleans. I think New Orleans, frankly, overlooked Atlanta. I do think New Orleans bounces back and wins this game. I actually, when I wrote down the score, I wrote down New Orleans 30, Atlanta 27. So actually, I like that minus seven line from uh, from Bavada quite a bit, um, just in terms of accuracy. But um, you know, I honestly, I wouldn't bet this game if I'm going to pick away. My computers like New Orleans just a little bit more than they like Atlanta with this spread. So I'll go with the computers here because I'm kind of up in the air on it myself. Um, so, uh, yeah, New Orleans, I, I just think that they're going to come back and they're going to rebound. Now, maybe Atlanta just matches up well against them, but I, I think I think they're going to come back. You know, Julio left the game briefly last week. He's a little banged up. I'm sure he'll be fine. Austin Hooper, I think, needs to play. He's been banged up. Um, you know, I don't know that he'll be back, especially on a short week. So, we'll, I mean, we'll see how it shakes out. But, again, I'm, I'm on New Orleans this week. Uh, for fantasy football, I do start Drew Brees. I think he's worth the start. Um, I think Alvin Kamara has a very nice game. I think uh, Mike Thomas has a very nice game. And I think everybody else other than Jared Cook is a risk for uh, the New Orleans uh, Saints. For Atlanta, I start Matt Ryan. I'd stay away from both running backs. Um, I am looking, let's see, Atlanta, Julio Jones and uh, Calvin Ridley, I start. And Russell Gage, I think, is a very interesting uh, waiver wire acquisition in play. I remember once Atlanta traded Sanu, uh, Russell Gage kind of got those targets. While Austin Hooper's been out, he's been kind of stepping up. So especially Daily Fantasy, I love him as a, as a cheaper play. Uh, but also if you're looking for one of those waiver wire gems this week, he could be uh, the guy. Now for Atlanta, even if Hooper plays, I don't love the projection. But I do like him more than, uh, you know, Jared Cook. So, you know, in terms of the battle of tight ends, I do think he'll be the best one on Thursday. I just don't know that he's worth the Daily Fantasy budget this week. Although if he's on your fantasy teams, I recognize you'll start him. And I would do the same. 